The UNC School of the Arts got their performance season underway a few days ago, and they have plenty of performances to experience the next few months, including a free one tonight. All right, so let's hear more about it now from Saxon Rose, who is the Dean of the UNCSA School of Music. Thank you for being with us. Thank you for having me. Good morning. Good morning. All right, so tell us what is in store for this upcoming performance season for 2023-24. Yeah, it's a, an extremely wide ranging performance season. Like always, it'll include absolutely professional caliber events created and performed primarily by our students, as well as by our world class faculty, alumni, and a whole host of truly world famous guest artists. And there's really something for everyone. These are productions in dance, drama, music, opera, film. So if you like musical theater or you like modern dance or jazz or the bassoon, uh, you're going to find a performance you'll enjoy this season. We believe that. And tell us about the performance going on tonight. What can people expect? Yeah, this is exciting. Um, tonight, UNCSA will present a song recital called Toward Justice and Shared Humanity. We're delighted to have soprano Ali Watts Davis and pianist Casey Robarts here. They'll present a recital that features the works of black composers. Um, and then there'll be a discussion and a Q&A session following the performance that'll explore how the pieces relate to their heritage and it's free. And that's awesome that to know mm -hmm. that that is free for yeah. folks. And I always love when there's a Q&A after to get to know a little and bit interact. more about the mm -hmm. artists. Now, there are a lot of performances coming up for the rest of this year for just 2023. Of course, Nutcracker being a highlight, I'm sure <laughs> we're showing some pictures of that. And that's one of your biggest ones. But what else can we expect for 2023? Yeah, uh, just coming up soon in September, our newly appointed music director of the UNCSA Symphony Orchestra, Robert Franz, who is also a UNCSA alumnus. He will lead the UNCSA Symphony Orchestra at Stevens Center downtown. They'll perform one of our composition professor, Jared Miller's amazing work called Under Sea Above Sky, just sort of an ode to planet Earth. They'll also perform the monumental Brahms Symphony No. 1, and the Sibelius Violin Concerto, which is performed by the student winner of last year's concerto competition, Roni Sheetreet, uh, that's September 30th. And yeah, the Nutcracker, um, we all look forward to that each year. Uh, that'll be presented for the first time at Tanger Center in Greensboro. Um, and I know tickets are selling very quickly, so don't wait too long for that. <laughs> Uh, I'm also excited uh, to be able to feature two new faculty members to the School of Music, violist Jordan Back and percussionist Ksenia Komlenovich. Uh, Jordan will perform a program with collaborative pianist Polina Kotsko on September 12th, and Dr. Komlenovich will perform uh, a recital with piano and marimba um, with, uh, with um, one of her collaborative uh, partners on November 28th. And I can't understate how extraordinary these two new faculty members are, so you don't want to miss them. Oh, I'm glad you got um, to mention that. Sorry, I interrupted yeah. you. What were you saying? Yeah, and um, also in September, I, our students in the New Music Ensemble will perform Pulitzer Prize and Grammy Award winner uh, American composer John Luther Adams. Um, his work is called 10,000 Birds. This is a really unusual piece. Um, it'll take place outside here on campus and it's inspired by the songs of birds that are native to or migrate through the region where it's performed. So if you're a bird watcher, bird lover, you're going to love this concert. Um, the performers move around as they play, their parts are memorized, and the audience is encouraged to kind of move around and experience it with them. So that'll be a lot of fun. Saxon, thank you so much for sharing that. That does sound like a very unique performance experience, and, and it's great, obviously, to feature those students as well. Um, I want to get to this information here for folks at home. You can find out more and get tickets to all of these performances coming up, of course, very soon. You were mentioning a very busy September mm -hmm. calendar, so everybody at home, again, you can find that information uh, for tonight's performance and the full season by visiting uncsa.edu performances.